Hello and welcome to the RPG Academy podcast Twitch channel. My name is Michael and I'm here for session six of Metroid from the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, kind of caught me in the middle. I was trying to get all my energy and all my missiles before I started the stream, but I was taking too long and didn't help that my computer crashed three times uh, right when we started. But um, I did cheat a little bit. I went to the internet and I looked at the map for what I called Area C, which is where I was at yesterday when I fought Kraid. Because it, it looked to me like I had completed that area, like I'd been everywhere. So I just double checked and I had. So there's nothing down there, at least as far as I can tell, that I missed. So looking back over my maps, it looks like Area B and D, which again, I know they have names, but I don't know what they are. Uh, are probably where I'm missing things because I still have to fight Ridley and I don't know where he's at, but I think it's got to be one of those areas. So that's where I'm going to. I'm going to what I'm calling Area D, no, Area B to start. And this is from the very first day that we I played when I went through the blue rooms into the gold room and down to the gold room and then over to the right and I found missiles. Uh, that was like the first thing I did because that was the only thing I remembered at the time. If you keep going from that, it takes you to this room. So let me put that there. So there was actually kind of a weird, I don't know, honestly don't know if it was a glitch or not, but um, when I started the game, I actually had like 30 missiles and I thought, that those didn't carry over, but maybe they do. So if I'm right, because um, some of those places I have been before, but I don't think I've been everywhere. I need to go all the way across. And then I'll be in a vertical shaft. I believe I've gone all the way up, but I'm going to double check that because my map's unclear. And then there's several rooms below, and I don't think I've been through all of them, or maybe not thoroughly. So that's the plan for today, is just to see if I can find some stuff that maybe I've missed. As far as I remember, there's only two power-up items that I don't have yet. I don't have the wave beam, which is the most powerful uh, gun, I guess, that I have access to. Though, in some ways, the ice beam is more versatile. But it's, you know, depends on what you're using it for. And I don't have the screw attack, which is a power-up that lets you attack when you jump. So like that, when I jump and push forward, how I kind of spin, it, uh, it basically lets you attack when you're doing that. which uh, can be quite handy. Trying to take my time here and get some energy as I go. Well, hello, Remy. Nice to have you here uh, with me for a little bit. So uh, don't, I guess you just jumped in. I'm trying to explore what I'm calling Area B. That's the area I'm in now. I don't know. I'm sure it has a real name. It's like Norfar or Warfare or something, but I don't remember which one's which. Uh, and I'm just double checking some of my map because I think there's things that I may have missed when I came through here before. Uh, so basically just sort of a casual exploration. I don't have an agenda beyond just double checking my map and seeing if there is anything I've missed. Uh, I know there is two power-up items that I don't yet have. And I know there's another mini-boss or sub-boss I need to face. So I believe this is where I get the ice beam. So let me double check that.
So I have on my map that there's a bomb wall. And then over here there should be a red door. Which I've already opened. And inside here should be the ice beam, which I already have. Okay, I did not put anything on my map about this room, so this is new. Um, wall. Okay. So I f actually feel like I may have been here before. I just don't know if I didn't write it down because I'm bad for things like that. Okay. And there's a door. Ah. Boop. Ah. So it's kind of weird. I'm not taking any damage right here. Even with the various suit, I should be taking some damage. So, yeah. It's kind of weird that uh, I can only bomb partially through. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, I thought that there was a way to bomb through there, but I don't think there is now. Okay, uh, time for my regular disclaimer. I'm not good at this game. I just like playing it. All right, so I thought maybe using those would be easier, but now it's looking like maybe it's not. I know that the problem is I can get kicked out if I'm not careful on this side. And Okay, so there's a door here, which I'm betting connects through to the other side that I saw.
Okay, so there's a bomb wall. Missiles, gotta love missiles. Can never have enough of those. Okay, even more missiles, even better. Okay, that's surprising. I would have thought this would have taken me to that shaft above. So I wonder if maybe there's a way to bomb here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this doesn't seem right to me. Close. Ooh, so close. <sighs> Got there and didn't didn't quite mess. Do it right. So let's try this again. I remember playing this when I was a kid. I, I mentioned this before. I had um, it was a like specialty controller called the NES Advantage. It was this big honking thing that kind of made it like you were playing an arcade. It had a big joystick and oversized buttons, but it also had a um, turbo function on it, which the controller I'm playing with now has one, which is what I'm using. But that one had a dial, and you could manipulate the speed of the, oh, look at that. The, oh no, don't wanna get knocked off. Well, looks like this was off or not. Uh, but you could uh, change the speed of how how fast the turbo was. It was really easy to do this. You could just keep twisting that dial and eventually it would uh, get it just basically perfectly. Okay, so I don't know why this room exists as far as I can tell. There's nothing I can do here, which seems weird, but I guess, I don't know. Double check the floor again, make sure I didn't miss something. Oh, silly me. Okay. So, this then should be in between these two rooms. So I'm still confused. Hey look, missiles. Hey look, missiles. Hey, look, missiles. In my head, this is from uh, National Lampoon's European Vacation, the whole Big Ben thing. Look, kids, Big Ben, Parliament. Look, kids, Big Ben, Parliament. Okay, excuse me. Oh. So... 
that doesn't take me anywhere. Yeah, dead end. So, Ugh. Try to get the energy and lost it. So this should take me back to that long hallway that has the blocks that disappear. And it looked like I could still go higher. Probably should have checked because it will really stink if I came back all this way and like that's the roof. Yeah, kind of, kind of thought that was going to happen. But again, there might be a way. Uh, all right, well, I knew that was going to happen. So the question is, can I get to that ledge to see if there's a way to go there or not? <sighs> this is going to be ugly. Oh, okay. Well. First time for everything. Okay, so it looks like that's a dead end. That's a dead end. As far as I can tell, that's, uh, there's really, oh, mm. I've been everywhere there is to go up here. So now I need to go back out. And then go, whoop. That disappearing glitch is really annoying, let me tell you. So again, so as far as I can tell, I've 
now bend everywhere up here. I don't think I've been everywhere through here yet. There's a lot of, like, these rooms and hallways all kind of look, not even somewhere, they look like exactly the same. So it's easy to get confused as to where I've been and where I haven't. But I'm pretty sure this is the right way. And it looks like my map is incomplete on the other side, so. I'm now getting the sinking suspicion that I actually am incorrect and I did not go down far enough and this is actually the way I came. I'll find out if this is, yep, okay. So I did not go down far enough. Rats. Okay, so instead I need to go down one level. Aha. And now I need to go this way. But see how it looks like exactly the same? Well, maybe not exactly, but very similar. This is one of those places it's somewhat convenient to try to get your energy. Because even for me, it's kind of hard to mess this up. I eventually will, don't get me wrong. But uh, when you stand on these pipes or potters, whatever they are, nothing comes out. So when you got two that are next to each other and there's nothing on either side, it's convenient to just go back and forth, go back and forth. Oh yeah, there's, I mean, if you go on the internet, there are beautifully rendered, screenshotted maps that are labeled. Uh, I'm trying to do this without using them at least as much as I can, but I had to make my own map. And even with the map, I'm still getting confused. So can you imagine completely mapless? I just, I mean, I'm not smart enough to remember it that well. I'm sure some people are, but man. All right, let me get a couple more energy and then, I, oh, yep, see, I just about messed it up there.
and now I just lost pretty much all the energy that I had collected. Okay, so I bomb wall through here, and then on my map it shows that I collected missiles on the other side, but then it just stops. So I don't know if, if there's nothing on the other side, or if I died there, and I don't know what comes after, or some combination thereof. So that would have been missiles number one. This would have been missiles number two. Huh. So maybe that's why I just didn't put anything on my map, but it seems weird. Hmm. Okay. So that's actually a dead end. Okay. So we're still making progress. We've completed some of my map. We've got a couple dead ends labeled. Okay, so that puts me back here, and according to my map, I should be able to bomb through the floor here. There it is. And it looks like the first door on the left, I have not been all the way through. Now this is a room and a stretch of rooms that uh, killed me a lot before, but that was before I had this various suit, which uh, makes things uh, much easier to survive this lava. All right, so I should be able to bomb through the wall. And at least on my map, I don't have anything on the other side. So I don't know what, it doesn't look like I've been here before. Ah. Actually, I kind of remember getting to this, and then I think I died because I fell. Okay. So, go through. Now there's a door.
Okay. And there's another door. Okay, and we're in another door, hallway, there's a door, and then it goes up. Just, uh, there we go. And you can bomb through the floor, and then we have doors here and here. Okay, I feel like we're getting somewhere now, this is exciting. All right, so let's go this way. Ah. Okay, that was a little hectic. Hopefully there's a ball I can bomb through over here. Okay, so bomb wall. All right, kind of as much as I hate to do it, I feel like I need to get some energy and stuff here. Otherwise, I'm just going to, oh, well, I say that, but then I get crushed. Things seem to be coming out really fast. Like as soon as I get the upgrade, I'm, oh man, it's so crazy. So that apparently is not the place I want to try to get more energy. Alrighty. And there's a door here. Okay. Um, 
floor. Okay, normally I go through the floors, but I feel like at this point I need to go this way. Oh, okay. So this is one of them there's where I've got to Whew. That's nice. Energy tank. I'm just going to guess that there's nothing back that way because this was too hard to get to. Okay, so now I can go through the bomb floor. Oh yeah, Dev, that was uh, literally a lifesaver. This map is not gonna make any sense whatsoever. Huh. It's weird that it would let me... Bound floor, and then dead end. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going on 40 minutes. I think I'm actually going to call it there. Um, here's my problem. I now have to just die because I have to get the code because unfortunately my computer resets all the time. It crashed three times today. So if I don't kill myself and get the code, then I won't be able to start back with that energy tank and all this map explored. So I'm going to have to start over next time and refill all my energy. So I'll do that off camera. I'll just go dive in lava or something. Um, anyway, thanks, Remy, for watching. If anyone else was hanging out, thank you as well. I think we've got to be getting close. Again, there's only two power-ups I don't have. There's one mini-boss, um, and then I can go to the end of the game. So maybe a couple more sessions. Depends on how much I die. This actually seemed to be pretty casual and easy. It didn't never really... I don't think I died once here. Um, and it looks like I've got two doorways yet to explore in this area and then i've got area d which i've only basically just started with um so yeah i don't think i have a whole lot left to go that would be nice so uh thanks again and we'll see you next time Bye bye